Hello everyone and welcome to part four of the list tutorial. So we're actually going to be talking about models in this tutorial for handling our data. So let's jump right in. Let's go ahead and comment out what we had right here because we're not going to be using it. Um, and we're actually going to have a collection of names. Let's go ahead and just so we can play around with the data a little bit. All right, so now we're going to have a list of names. And um, instead of it being a string, we're actually going to have it be of our model. So let's go ahead and um, add a new file. And we're going to call this um, person. All right. And in our person class, we would need attributes of a person. So we're going to give them a name. Ooh. All right, and we'll add other things as well, but this is just to get started. So back in the view model, we're going to have this be of type person. So now we have, uh, it's a list of people or list of, yeah, people. But in this case, we're just grabbing the name, so we're gonna call the list names. So. Um, let's go and actually add them. So we're going to do names, add, just like we have been doing. We're going to go ahead and add to it, but in this case it's going to be a new model, so person, and then we're going to actually um, tap into the property in the model. So name equals, um, let's use my name, and then um, We'll just go ahead and copy that. Ooh. All right, and then we can just change these up a little bit. All right, so now we have it added. Um, we actually will not see it because in our XAML, we're bound to items still. So let's go ahead and bind it right to names. Now we have to actually um, we're bound to the um, the list, but we're not actually bound to the name. So this isn't going to this is this is just going to show YouTube list lesson dot person. It's not going to show um, it's not going to show any names. So let's go ahead and add that right now. So we are going to do a list view item template. All right. And then, um, so we're actually going to tap into the um, the text for each cell, and so we're going to add data template. And we're just going to use the generic one for Xamarin Forms. We're not going to customize the cell right now, so we're just going to say text cell, and the text. Oh, got some thunder back there. All right, and the text is going to be the name. So we're binding to each name. All right, so now we go ahead and run it. And we'll jump into a little bit more, of course, about how to customize each cell. We can, we'll add some images and, um, well, we can make it all fancy a little later. We'll do that in a later lesson. But for right now, we got to figure out how to work with the data, and there you go. We have our three names, and this is especially helpful when you're dealing with multiple pages, uh, when you start implementing databases and web services as well. So I look forward to seeing you guys in part five, where we're actually going to implement a button, and we're going to add items to the list through the button. So look forward to seeing you guys for that one. Thanks a lot.